Hello and good morning. My name is Rob. In the last tips and tricks video I did, 1.0 I had just released. I wasn't sure if all the game mechanics still worked the same. Turns out absolutely nothing has changed. So the 1.0 update had really no updates at all. I'm going to throw at you probably 10 or 15. Let's jump in. It would be a shame not to mention, I did not mention it in the last video because I've mentioned it many times in the past, many, 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 many people have covered the coconut hack, the infinite water hack. We're going to go ahead and cover that. All right, the coconut hack, infinite water. If you grab two or more coconuts and you break them open, one, two, three, I have. We're going to pick up the drinkable coconut and we're going to drink it gonna drink two now what we're gonna do is build a pile and they are now all drinkable coconuts the game doesn't know the difference between a full and an empty coconut when you put it in a pile so this is infinite water you have to wait every 10 seconds to drink another one otherwise you'll get diarrhea the current always goes south in every single save game it's never randomized it always goes from north to south so if your boat starts floating away like this is it's gonna go south if your crafting level is full you can use fiber sleeves to fill your fire see my fire is almost empty we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with six fiber sleeves and then break it and I get three sticks from it Essentially what I'm doing here is I am converting leaves to sticks. The idea is that fibrous leaves respawn and you can get more of them, but sticks do not. The fire has to be full in order to get a full refund and your crafting level has to be maxed out to get a full four stick refund. Unskinned animals never ever spoil. The meat will never spoil, the leather will never spoil, nothing will despawn, he will stay right here forever until you skin him. Smoked meat lasts forever, it never ever 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 spoils. I've put it to the test 10,000 days and beyond. It never spoils, it never goes away. Save up all your meat until you can spend a little time smoking all of it and it will last forever. Can make a macro to light your fire <laughs> super cheesy right one good macro is binding q to drop spears because if you have a full inventory of spears it takes forever to get rid of them and they all drop into this nice little pile there's tons of spears right here just a dumb little thing that helps when going to a boss fight if i don't have enough spears and i have nothing but crude spears I drop this off on the boat or I'm or I have a shelf container and I open the box and to switch them back and forth you can make a macro I also like to bind my E key to my mouse wheel so I can pick things up faster it's just a dumb little tip and again for the the Q button to drop uh, this is unfortunately console is kind of asked out of this the next tip involves potatoes and all other fruits such as the cura or the kuwawa the second you enter the zone of an island the clock starts ticking on when these things expire for instance and i'll just fly if i come over to this island here this is a punk ridge island super good el grotto if i'm not mistaken right here if i come into this zone right here the clock starts ticking on all potatoes and all fruits anything that will spoil by the time you find them there's a good chance that you will find a potato plant with no potato because spoiled potatoes despawn the next tip involves your boat now this is not a boat building video this is just a tip for your boat you can put a sail and a container shelf in the same place but you have to put your container shelf first we're gonna make this one go to the left just like this when we pull up our anchor we can easily drop this sail and go straight to the left we're gonna put a right hand sail just like this we have a left and a right now if I try to go and build a container shelf here 
it will not let me. It'll build it here and here and everywhere else, but it will not let me build it here. So you can have these two things in the same exact spot, but you have to put the container shelf first. And now we can sail to the right and to the left. Now, if you turn them both on, they cancel each other and you just stand still. I said this was not a boat building tutorial, but I'm gonna keep going. Multi-directional sails are the most useful thing that you can have. And ideally, you wanna be able to reach it from where you are. So, for instance, here, that is where I'd put that one. And then I would also put one more up here somewhere. And just because of my OCD, I would likely go ahead and uh, make two backwards sails. Do two backwards sails here and here, just for pure aesthetics. And that is a really cool looking boat. So now we are backing out. And now we can pull up. And if we're a little off, we can go to the right, just like that. And we're home. And that, in my opinion, is the most efficient boat build that you can have. You can go bigger, you can go smaller, you can do whatever you want, but having multi-directional sails that are built over a container shelf is the way to go, for sure. Your life raft is a useless pile of junk. The only thing that it is good for is the raft storage, which contains a compass, three rations, and a bandage. However, if you are on an island such as this, where you have already used your cloth for a smoker and a water still, you're gonna need to take your dinghy, your little life raft, to the next island. This can be treacherous, especially in a storm, uh, and a shark will tip you. There is a setting that I usually turn off that you have on by default and it's auto walk. So if you double tap, I'm hands free. So I'm clapping. <laughs> That's the only way I can, I mean, I can show you here. I can show you no hands. So that's auto walk. I turn it off because I walk to my demise frequently. So after five years, we are back and I am auto walking all over the place. I'm not, I'm not touching anything. So let's turn that off. We'll call that another tip. Do turn this off. You really don't want auto walk on. Since we're here, we'll just go ahead and throw an extra tip in there. If you're in the life raft or even on a boat and you change it to third person, you could see better. I use this tip quite often to find the bosses because I usually have crates and sails and other stuff in front of me that I can't see around. My current crafting level is almost level three, which means that when I break something down, I do not get a full refund. A shelter requires three sticks, four palm fronds, and one lashing. And I got one stick, one palm frond, and one lashing back. It's not until your crafting level is full, all the way up, that you get a full refund on things. One way to up your crafting level, to just make a bunch of spears over and over and over, keep making spears. The crude fishing spear gives you the best bang for your buck. However, you're not gonna use very many of these. You're more likely to use regular spears, but by the time you get max crafting, you're not gonna use all those spears and you're not gonna have any place to put them. An alternative to this requires just a little bit of work. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get four sticks. Go ahead and build yourself a foundation. You don't have to finish it. And then we're gonna take all of our planks and our corrugated that we have found. And you're gonna build a plank half wall. You can also alternatively build a plank window wall. Once you've built these, break it out and get your one plank back. It costs one to build and it gives you one back every time. Same with the window wall and same goes for the corrugated half wall. 
Corrugated half wall also only takes one, but you have to be level four. Once you level up to level four, switch over to the corrugated half wall and you will get this refund every single time, no matter what, because it only costs one and you always get something back. And it's the only thing that it can give you back. So rinse and repeat over and over and over until you are level four, switch to the corrugated and continue until you're done. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a yucca bush where you can pick up all the fiber sleeves, but sometimes you get unlucky with ones like this one and especially this one where the fiber sleeves kind of fall into the bush and the ones down here I cannot get. I'll drop the ones that I have except for one. Walk up to this pile and use quick craft to make a pile and pull one out get one back pull one out get one back until you have all of the fiber sleeves out of here this tactic also works for rocks these bushes sometimes will hold rocks so what I've done is I've gone to my crafting menu and I've pinned the stone tool since it requires one rock and we may only be looking for one rock so when I find it in the bush the pinned crafting combo will turn white. So I'm seeing if I can craft anything. And if I do come across a rock, I should be able to craft a stone tool with it. There it is. And we'll do the same method. We'll pull it out using a rock pile. Now for a console, this doesn't quite work the way it works for PC. There it is rock pile and now we have two rocks there was a rock somewhere down in this bush probably down in there unfortunately this doesn't work that well for console however you can still search these bushes and you can still craft a stone tool to retrieve that rock or if you're short one rock for a water still you can use that as well so we just have some roof middles it's the easiest way to do it. Um, you could build stairs up to this if you wanted. So we'll make a farming plot. We know that we could just build this here, no problem. We'll try to make this kind of flush. And then we also know that we could build a fire on a farming plot if it's in the air. Can we build a rock ring? Yes. Can we build a smoker? Yes, we can. that that kind of neat the farming plots the fire and everything else needs to be tested on console so uh would somebody can somebody do that that would be excellent if it works definitely make a video and put it out on this coincidentally we're on the same island that we did the tutorial on there will be a link for that video at the end of this video and we're going to continue that i've i've asked if you guys wanted to see uh, what to do after the tutorial is over the answer has been emphatically yes that video has performed extremely well and i appreciate it and i hope it helps you it was uh intricate to make so i'll say cheers and gg and have a good day i appreciate you like subscribe do all the things discord all the things are in the description but I do appreciate you. Definitely leave a comment. We can interact a little bit. It helps with the alligator rhythm, as Branch would say. <laughs> so cheers, and have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.